Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will be learning about the match function in Excel or also called as index match function in Excel. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So if you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now without further ado, Let's get started with our one point agenda that is match function in Excel. For that, let's get started with Microsoft Excel. So you can see that we have got started with Microsoft Excel and on the left hand side we have a simple table with all the teams in an IT industry starting from IT admin, testing, development to client consultant support. We have got everything in this particular table. Now our main idea is to find out the index of these particular elements. For example, if you wanted to find the index of the element marketing, then how could you do it? So here, let's try to use the match function in Excel. For that, we want lookup value and position. So on the right hand side, you can see that I've created two separate columns as lookup value and positions. So in the lookup value column, we will be inserting the value of which you want to find the index. Now, for example, let us consider that we want to find the index value of team marketing. So I'll be writing marketing in this particular lookup value. Now how to find the index value of the element marketing? For that, we will be using the match function in Excel. Now after writing the match function, you can see that it is asking for three different parameters. So the first one is the lookup value, second is the lookup array and lastly we have match type. So lookup value is the value of which you are trying to find the index that is marketing this particular cell. So we have selected the lookup value which is the first one. Next we have to select the lookup array that is from which set of elements you want to find the index. So the set of elements are this. IT admin testing the column which we have created the A column. Now we have selected the lookup array and lastly the match type. Is it you are looking for less than or is it you are looking for exact match or is it greater than match. So for now I want exact match so I will be selecting the exact match that is 0. Now there you go you have the exact index of the element that is 5. Now we have selected all the 10 teams right, starting from IT 1, admin 2, testing 3, development 4, marketing 5. So, so that's how you find the index of a selected element in Excel. Now we just have like 10 elements so we have got the uh, writing of the elements or you know uh, choosing the elements in a easy way but what if if you had like 100 elements right could be a little different. Okay. So let me put it simple. Now you wanted to find the index value of finance. So right now we have marketing and you wanted to type in finance and you missed out a letter A. Okay. Now you are not finding the right index. To avoid such problems, you can always take the help of data validation in Excel. That is using the list in data validation in Excel. You can see a small drop down icon here, right? You can choose that and here you can see all the teams that we have created in the left column, right? So here I can scroll down and choose the finance and there you go. I have the index value. Okay. Again, we need to copy paste the same match function in Excel over here. equals to match lookup value lookup array and exact match so there you go that's how you make use of data validation in excel and using the list you can comprehend all the list elements in this particular column into the list of data validation and you can choose the team whichever you want to find the index for so this is how you can make use of match function in Excel or index match function in Excel.
Now with that, we have come to an end of this tutorial on match function in Excel. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.